Hey guys, how's it going? It's KO here. Today I want to talk about taking a step back from playing HOTS competitively and what my plans for the future are and what you can expect from me for the next couple months. So basically this shouldn't be seen as a retirement. I don't see it that way. Um, I'm personally planning on continuing to look at opportunities for playing competitively if the right opportunities come and staying on top of my game, continuing to study the game and just be player ready so to speak as best as I can be so also I don't think you should see this in any way as me taking a step back from the community in fact it's quite the opposite I'll be a lot more involved in the community now that I actually have time because uh, being a player takes a ton of time and um, all of your energy basically is devoted to just being as good as you can for the next tournament and just being a hundred percent on par ready and good to go for whatever competitive matches, whatever scrims you have coming up, there's always something that you're training for and getting ready for. So now, without having to worry about the pressures of that, I plan on being able to spend a lot more time working on projects in these other areas, and those areas are casting, YouTube, and Twitch. So for the casting thing, that might come as quite a surprise to some people, but I do actually really enjoy casting and something I've wanted to do for a long time. So I'm actually going to be jumping into the casting for the amateur scene and I'm going to be trying it on for size basically and that's going to be my my home for now. Um, I think right now there's kind of a gap where in the amateur scene for casters there's not really that like pro veteran who's got insight and you know I've been here since the very beginning the inception of the competitive scene I've been there playing the game, watching the meta develop, you know, watching the game grow, and I think I can I can offer really a lot of cool insight and perspective there that I don't think is currently present. So I did see the post, you know, from Sham2 the other day where he was talking about getting into uh, getting back into casting, and you know that that's the kind of thing where I feel like I could work really well with somebody like Sham2 because. As far as production goes, I'm definitely a huge noob at that. Um, I plan on, you know, with the casting thing, upgrading production as I go. Uh, I'm not just going to go buy a bunch of ton of equipment right off the bat um, because I haven't really had a chance to try it out. And that's exactly what is great about the amateur scene. But I plan on, you know, upgrading production as I go. I have a new webcam that will be here tomorrow, and um, that's going to be nice. So I'm casting the Divergent Tournament this Friday with Inverum. And the pre-show for that starts at 8 p.m. EST. So if you guys want to get a taste of my casting, that's the first time I'm going to be actually doing an event for reals. And I'm pretty excited about that. Um, you know, I've never really followed the amateur scene that closely, but it's something that seems like a lot of fun to me, especially now because, like, the pro scene has been hugely affected in recent by the amateur scene. And we're starting to finally see the bridge you know gap closer between amateur and pro scenes and teams that can rise up through the amateur scene and show their stuff so well and then you know some of the pro teams start screaming them and then they all of a sudden are playing at the elite level um, and next thing you know they're they're winning you know professional tournaments so I really hope I get to experience that I think it would be so cool to cast a team and follow a team that has a meteoric rise through the amateur scene and be like yeah I followed those guys I, I know them and uh and be able to see them succeed in the the professional scene. So that's what I plan on doing for the casting side of things. Now, uh, as far as YouTube and Twitch go, I have a lot more time. One thing I've always struggled with, I've never been able to get the stream going consistently um, because I'm, my attention is always being pulled back to just focusing on practicing the game and playing it competitively. And for the YouTube stuff, I think I'll be able to start making a lot higher quality videos. I really do like my role kind of as making these educational videos and stuff. I think I can help teach a lot of the mid to higher level players a lot of concepts that I've learned from spending so much time in the pro scene. And I'm going to continue to do that. And I really enjoy doing you know the how to be a better hero leaguer stuff. Um, but I just hope I can bring you guys a higher level of content, a higher standard when it comes to that stuff, you know, as I continue to grow, so will the quality of my content. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to support me and continue, you know, following me and what I'm doing, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch and look out for the, uh, amateur casting tournaments and stuff that I'll be casting. Um, 
overall, I'm just really excited, guys. I don't see this as a, as a dark time at all. I don't see this as um, me stepping back at all. Like I said, you know, it's not that I'm retiring or anything like that. I'm still going full force with heroes. I love this community. I, You know, one of my favorite things about being a pro player is just going to every event and seeing all of my friends that I've made throughout the years playing this game. And just being a part of that is, is just a lot of fun and i hope i can continue being a part of this wild ride and um anyways look forward to seeing you guys more and thank you for hearing me out have a wonderful day take care